Students from Kathmandu's Lalit Kala Fine Arts College were painting and sketching the ruins around the Rahara Tar in Sundhara, hoping to raise funds for the relief efforts needed in the country. The Dharahara Tar was nine stories high and thought to be one of the tallest structures at the center of the capital city. The entire city could be seen from the top of the tar before the 7.8 magnitude earthquake on April 25th sent it crashing to the ground in a pile of rubble. Dharahara, I was the first time I was in the first place. I was in the first place and I was in the first place. 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 अनि तो चीं एटलिस्ट तो चीं हमी पेंट गरम होने रहा बटा यूनिट नहीं था क्या हमरो अनि हमी यो पेंट गरे रहा अब शायद हमी अब एक्जिशन गर सकूँगा ना त्यार उठे को फोन से हमी रेस्क्यू करने विचार सा फोन से हमी वोल प्रोवाइड फोन फॉर लोकल रेसिडेंट्स क्राउडेड अराउंड टू वाच द स्टूडेंट्स एट वर्क for our next generations, we, I, I take this movie. Meanwhile, a vendor of plastic tents in Kathmandu said that he and other tent sellers in the Nepali capital are running out of the supplies due to high demand after the 25 April earthquake. People have been forced to take shelter in makeshift tents at temporary relief camps around Kathmandu. In villages, many people are staying in tents pitched in open areas. No more structure in after disaster, you know, after earthquake. Uh, we have the seven go, uh, seven showroom in there, but seven even so seven showroom we are all empty. People demanded most and more, more and more. Uh, and Nepal, Nepal army, Nepal, Nepal police, even Nepal government, uh, telling telling us, you know, please bring me. Um, uh, one million pieces of one billion. Uh. Many tent shops in Kathmandu have closed because of lack of supplies. The United Nations has said 8 million of Nepal's 28 million people were affected by the earthquake, with at least 2 million needing tents, water, food, and medicines over the next three months.